All right, so this video is gonna be just a little bit different. Um, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase and then we'll kind of talk over everything. We're building another car. Now, this one's not mine, but I'm going to have a pretty big hand in it. Uh, some of you guys might actually recognize this car. This is Salinas Motorsports' old mule. Now, my buddy Brandon, who you might know from that pink and blue RX-7 last year, or that blue G-Body Monte Carlo, um, just like a month or so ago, he got this on trade, and uh, the plan is to hopefully go very fast. And we're going to try to uh, hopefully at least enter some no preps and some grudge races and stuff like that. Basically, the whole point of this car is to go out and win some events. So once it's done, the plan is TX2K, FL2K, Streetcar Takeover, pretty much anything that we can enter it in. There's a lot of things that I'm not gonna go into too much detail with just because it is a grudge car. Uh, like I said, a few of you guys are familiar with this car. I know a couple people watching that are very familiar with this car, but it has a very good setup. It has a tube front that I'm very tempted to copy for the Firebird over there. Um, Brandon is hopefully soon going to be getting the motor plate from Salinas for this thing. Uh, tempted to get the turbo kit from him too, just because we know that it's been fast. And you can see this car was a twin turbo car and it was an LS car. Got some single bead locks on it. And it is going to return to LS with twin turbos. Right now, we're just trying to get it together kind of budget-y so that we can get it out and run it and see how it'll do. It'll, it'll probably be a hot minute before it's, you know, where it was, but even with what we're doing, it should be pretty quick. So like I said, it's, it's gonna be a grudge car, so I don't wanna get too in-depth with it. So this is just a mock-up, but it is probably gonna be truck motor, probably 6.0. I feel like that's okay to say. Those are just some eBay turbos in there, and it will be turbo 400. If we can get this thing together in time for next season, it should be pretty damn fun. But yeah, this thing's got a pretty rad cage in it. It is a T-Tap car, which is sweet. You can see the anti-roll bar up here. Like I said, I'm sure there's a few of you guys that recognize this car. I'm honestly just stupid excited for this thing. I think this thing's gonna be so much fun. I mean, even if I don't get to drive it at all, which is, I mean, it's not my car, so I wouldn't expect to, but man, this thing, I'm so excited about it. So right now what we're doing is we're just gonna set this 5.3 in here just as like a little uh, dummy block so we can kind of get some measurements for things and see what we want to do for the hot side because like I said we are running those twin turbos and the car was originally twin turbo on methanol and we're probably not going to go that route we'll probably go E85 and meth injection unless we can I don't know we'll we'll play around with some different ideas but that's kind of what we're leaning towards but I don't think we're like set on anything in particular so let's start setting this in here and see where it gets us. I wish we had the front motor plate, but we can get a couple bolts in the back here and block the oil pan to at least hold it in place. Well, it goes without saying that the stock truck oil pan is not going to work because right now it's sitting on the K member, but kind of expected that, so that's not a huge deal. I do have four bolts just kind of holding it in place there. I can't tell if it's slightly crooked or if it's just my eyes playing with me. I think it is slightly crooked, which, all right. So, oh, I just noticed this side doesn't have the dowels for the head. Damn. I can steal some out of the 6.0 over there. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is set the heads on it, and I've got a set of truck manifolds that I'm gonna try just out of curiosity. Like, I know that it's not pretty, but those truck manifolds can support a lot of power. Like, easily four digits. So I'm gonna try them just to see if they fit. And I also, want to try 
these heads. Let's see if I can do this without tipping the whole fucking engine over. All good. Man, James Brown's looking good. Got both heads on it and got a little got a little limiting strap on here to uh, keep the engine from sliding passenger. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. Must be something on the K member that it's just barely catching that keeps wanting to kick the front that way, but it's looking pretty straight to me. Actually, I think it could still go driver a touch. Just a touch. Not gonna worry about that just right now. Actually, I could worry about it right now. Let's see if this works. Should be able to. No, this thing doesn't have the balls to do it. So originally the turbos were right in here. We might put them in a similar spot. I know Brandon talked about wanting them up front here. Which, which we could do. I mean, we definitely could do, it'd be nice to have the inlets right in front there. And then it wouldn't be shit to just run the exhaust out through here. Let me go get the truck manifolds and see where they land. All right, it's a couple days later. And by that, I mean, it's like two weeks later. <laughs> Things have been so just all over the place lately. Obviously the Firebird's gone. You saw at the beginning of the video, it was still here. I ended up dropping that off at my buddy Scott so that he could do the hot side for it and go through the wiring and stuff because I'm just swamped with a bunch of other things. He volunteered to do it, which is awesome. Uh, got the 383 in the Monte Carlo, finished up a few things in the RX-7 that when I started filming this video weren't done. Uh, got all the brake lines, drive shaft and everything done. So it's really only a handful of things left that I'm just kind of dragging my feet on. Still waiting on parts for the Oldsmobile, the Delta 88. Uh, working on that Trailblazer and working on this a little bit here and there. Last thing I said was I was gonna go get the truck manifolds and test fit them. Uh, I actually ended up sending those with the Firebird, so I don't have those anymore. Uh, I think they should fit, because they fit the Firebird. This is like the same chassis. They should fit this uh, pretty well. If not, we'll figure something out. If we flip them and cut the ends off to V-band them, it should fit no problem. So, um, And then this is roughly where we're thinking for the turbos. Like I said earlier, Brandon was thinking about putting them in the bumper. Uh, it'd be cool if we did that. We'd have to have an oil scavenge pump for the drain. If we do this, they should be up high enough. They might. We might put them up a little bit higher. This is just all the box that I had right now. <laughs> but uh, where they are here, they should be able to gravity feed. So that would uh, alleviate that extra cost. And if we did it like this, we could go straight into the intake either E85 and meth or methanol or, or something or just build a rowdy motor so that we don't have to run a ton of boost in them and warm up the IATs a bunch. Uh, so yeah, we're kind of just waiting on a bunch of stuff right now so there isn't a ton going on with it. So that's probably going to do it for this video. I'm hoping that we can get our ducks in a row and get this thing ready in time for March but I don't want to make any promises there because, you know, things happen. And let's be real, who knows? Someone could see this video and be like, I really want that car and make Brandon a stupid offer for it. And I wouldn't blame him for selling it. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time. Uh -huh.